Hey guys and girls, it's Nathan here. Just want to talk to you about something a little bit interesting today. I am not reading from notes. I never read from notes, but I do have some really cool pieces of paper here. The question I have is, do you have money in your bank account at the moment? Do you? Huh? Uh, if so, why is it there? How much have you got? And uh, is it benefiting you or not? Um, the reason being is I just want to go through a little bit of uh, memory lane and share something with you. Um, a lot of people say, oh, Nathan was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and he was given a deposit and all this sort of stuff. Um, I just pulled out some old bank statements here. Um, these were here and I've sort of changed them, uh, like hidden the, um, the, the top where my address was and all that sort of stuff. Um, but got here, um, the December, this is in the year of... 2001 when I was in high school it's high school it's high school yeah year 12 or year 11 at school failing from every grade from kindergarten to year 12 but um, as we can see here December December January 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 February February I had a very regular um, deposit history of every week I was depositing a hundred hundred two hundred three hundred dollars depending on how much money I was earning for the week and I had uh, up to about four thousand dollars in the bank until I pulled out uh, 3,600 uh, for a term deposit. And moving forward from that, uh, I've got some term deposits here. Uh, it, my name was Master Nathan Birch as a child, and this was in the year 2000. Um, so we've got, I don't know if we can see this on the camera, but this is the year 2000, just after the Y2K bug. Um, there was $11,000 that I had in the bank account that I'd saved up because I wanted to buy a property at the age of 13. And I was putting in a thing called a term deposit account because I wasn't allowed to legally sign a contract because I wasn't an adult, uh, but 6.05% per annum. Uh, date of lodgement was 25th of November 2000 and it was for a period of 213 days. That was the only sort of investing that I was allowed to do. Unfortunately, there was no Bitcoin or anything else. I used to invest in currencies. Uh, precious metals and money, as well as putting my money in the bank in term deposits. So I hustled like a mother, right? And there's no bleep there, but I hustled and I put money away. And a lot of people uh, sit there in the bank nowadays and work their life away, slave away for 40 years to try and save some money and have something for their future. Why did I save my money? I couldn't buy a property. I had a deposit ready, but I saw a boom, right? The Sydney boom of 2000, 2001, 2002. I could sign a contract in 2003 when I bought my first property and it was at the peak of the bubble, right? Allegedly a bubble, right? Um, and, you know, since then, I've built my portfolio. The reality of it is, is that back in 2000, uh, you would get a 6% uh, rate of return on your investment by putting cash in the bank for a period of 213 days. If you go and look at uh, returns at the moment, you're probably getting 1.25, 1 1.1, 1 .1. uh, you're getting you know the low 1%. And what would be the point in putting your money away? The reality of it is, is that if you put your money away, the rate of inflation, even though we've got no inflation at the moment, we're gonna see interest rates go down, those cash returns go down, it's gonna be costing you soon to put your money in the bank account, right? If I had have invested 10 grand into the bank, I would have got 600 bucks for the year uh, back in 2000. If I put 10 grand in the bank account now, I'll get 100 bucks. What can you do for 100 bucks? Oh, you can put it away for a year, you can buy less, you can go to the pub and probably buy a schnitzel and drink uh, for you and your missus uh, on the, uh, you know, with the return in a year's time. It's dead money. The rate of inflation, tax, all that sort of stuff. The monetary system has changed in the last, um, you know, in the last, 40 years and the dollar is continuously dying. I've been beating down on this for a very, very long time. If you think putting your money into the bank account and uh, getting a return on it uh, is the best thing to do, you're financially illiterate and you, you know, you've probably passed school and fit into the system very well for being a 40 year uh, lifelong sentence uh, as a tax slave. So, you know, if you think that putting your money in the bank is crap, you think that your money in the bank account is cash as trash, I invest into assets. That's what I do. I invest into assets that give me a reoccurring income that will inflate in time uh, as the money gets deflated. I want to pay off my deadbeat loans because the loans become less and less because they the money's being inflated more uh, with inflated dollars in the future. So as more rental income is coming in, I'm getting a passive income stream. I'm paying off my crappy loan that's worthless with you know less and less, uh, more and more rent that's coming through. 
and I'm living off my assets. So I invest in assets and I love cash flow. That's why I have cash flow on my car. That's why I have cash flow on my bank account. As soon as that money hits my bank account, at the 30th of the month, when I get paid my end of month, I do disbursements to everyone, all my investors get their rents, I get my rents, I do them a couple of times a month. Every time I get money in my account, I'm constantly throwing it out of my bank account into other investments that are gonna bring more money into me. If you think that saving money is gonna make you money or gonna make you wealthy, you have rocks in your head and you're financially illiterate, and you probably need to watch more of these YouTube videos to find out how you can escape the system, how you can retire, uh, or you can just call our office, 1300 367 925, speak to one of my team. Uh, you know, my customer support staff can put you in contact with the right part of our team. We've got over 20 brands here as a part of being invested group of companies, helping out from all different aspects of the financial spectrum, no matter if you're just starting out or if you're a sophisticated investor. Um, yeah, so if you need help, give us a call. If not, Hope you enjoy the videos. If you don't like it, dislike it. If you do like it, like it. And uh, look forward to your comment below on your story. Have a great day. Bye for now.